Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we are on the Dunes map. Now if you guys don't know what this is, essentially it is uh, a bunch of sand dunes. Uh, dunes? 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 I say dunes where I'm from, I don't know why. Anyway, um, we're on the sand dunes. There you go, I'm gonna try and say dunes from now on. It's just not, not natural for me. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to build an interwar tank that can hopefully complete this map. Now, this tank isn't going to be good. It also hopefully isn't going to be awful. Um, but essentially, I'm going to build a tank. We're going to send it into war. If it loses, it loses. If it wins, it wins. We're not going to try and angle it or anything like that. It's just going to try and... I'm going to try and make it look interesting. That's what we're going to go for. Anyway, um, let's go for it. Let's do this. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and go to Freeform Hulls and do that one. We're then going to go to Mobility, get rid of the fenders. There we go. Uh, what we're then going to do, uh, and I know this is Sand Dunes, but uh, we are going to make the tracks skinnier. Um, I know that's a bad idea on sand, but uh, it's what we're going to do. We're going to make them slightly thicker, but the width of them is going to be about half. Not point... actually, not point three five, Almost half. There we go. Good. Uh, we're gonna have the sprocket in the front. That might be interesting. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these guys. Get rid of one of these guys. And that should be good. We're also gonna get rid of the return rollers. We're gonna make the road wheels diameter a lot bigger. There we go. And we're gonna have it a lot like this. Okay, good. The sprocket itself also gonna be quite large. And there we go. Okay, so bring this backwards to there. Bring this guy backwards and down to there. And that is what our tracks are going to look like. I think that's fine. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and actually make them look nice. We're going to have that sprocket. The sprocket mount is going to be one of these. The idler wheel, which is at the back, uh, is actually going to be looking like one of these. And I want to make it nice looking. So we're actually going to... We're going to have two of them, but we're going to make them very skinny. There we go. So that they actually fit. That's a good idea. Um, but yeah, it's going to look like that. That's okay. Actually... No, it's going to look like this one. There we go. Um, do, 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 do. We're going to go ahead and have the idle amount look like... Actually look like that. That's fine. Uh, the road wheels themselves are going to be the concave ones. That's good. And the suspension is going to stay as is. I know that's probably not right. In fact, it's not. But we're going to leave it like that anyway. I'm sure it's fine. Um, the return rollers, we don't actually have any of those. So we're going to not deal with those. And the tracks themselves uh, are going to look like... Look like that, I guess? Yeah, we're gonna go with this. That looks interesting already. I quite like it. Anyway, spares, uh, we're not gonna do those just yet. Okay, so, now it's time to actually build the tank in itself. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna bring these guys forwards. There's gonna be a lot of uh, modifying on this one. We're gonna cut it up like crazy, but that hopefully that's fine. So, uh, unselect all of them. Let's go to this guy and drag this backwards. Uh, the front end, um, yeah, we're going to do that, but I'm actually going to squidge it down quite a lot from there. So we're going to do this. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to extend it. It's actually going to have a flat front. Yes, it is. I know that's weird. We're then going to drag these guys backwards, like so, but bring them upwards as well. In fact, let's do this to bring it upwards. And yeah, that's, that's pretty cool so far. In fact, actually, bring it backwards until the tracks. There we go. Okay, cool. Extend this guy up. That bit is actually going to be flat, just there. Um, but we will actually bring it backwards a tiny bit like this. Okay, excellent. Right. I want it to be skinny. Like, I genuinely do want it to be skinny. So we're going to do this out here. But then we're going to go ahead and grab this guy and this guy and do this. Okay, so far, so good. Okay, interesting. It is kind of interesting anyway. Right, grab these guys, angle them inwards just a little bit. Grab this guy and this guy. Uh, not that one. This one, I think. Bring it outwards just a tiny bit more. And that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Select all of it. Drag it upwards a tiny bit so that it fits on the tracks. And that is going to be awesome there. Okay, spawn it in. What does that actually look like? Weird. It looks strange. I like it. Good. Go to faces. Grab this guy, this guy, this guy. And send those out to there. Actually, no. Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in. There we go. I know that's really strange, but it's fine. So, go to mobility. We're going to go ahead and do the separation inwards so that they actually fit within there. 
Uh, by quite a bit, actually. So separation inwards. There, we're going to leave them like that. Okay, so far so good. It's a bit weird, but it's fine. Okay, back to compartments. Let's do this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Extend them. Bring them backwards like so. Actually, not quite. Not quite. Let's just do the middle ones. Okay. Uh, in fact, just do these guys. So extend this bit backwards like so. Okay, we're then going to go to the top of this. Extend that up and make it skinnier. And bring it up to there where it meets that one. Okay. That's a little bit strange. I quite like it being strange. That's good. All right, grab this guy and this guy and send this forwards. And if I could, I would grab the other bit too, but that's fine. Right, grab it to there. Go ahead and grab this guy. Bring that in as well. And there we go. We'll leave it like that. That is strange. That is very strange. Okay, so I did say I wanted this thing to be weird, so we're going to go to edges. We're going to go ahead and split this straight down the middle. And we're going to go ahead and extend this guy uh, only on one side off the front. So extend this forwards uh, just like so. Bring it down so it drops down into there. And squidge it a little bit, please. Please squidge. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Bring this guy upwards and this one up to there. And we're going to have that bit just be poking out. Strange. That's going to be the driver's seat, actually. So go to crew. Go to viewports. Grab the driver. And whack that directly on there. Okay. Driver sorted out. Good. Okay, so honestly, I think we can leave the body pretty much as is. We're going we're gonna to leave it like that. So if we add a little hatch on here so the driver could get in and out, that would be awesome sauce. There we go. Good. Um, I'm assuming we should have a little gunner next to the driver. Um, so we'll just add one little gun like so. Add the viewports, which is just going to be one of these, uh, like so. And off to the side on both edges. So one there. And one, two, one... I don't actually know where it would be, like, here? Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so, the gunner can now shoot out the front. Um, or this little gunner, I should say. And there we go. Driver is in. Little side gunner person, which is going to be a radio operator, is going to be in. And that's alright. Okay, next thing then. Uh, we should really try and figure out how to actually attach a gun to this. Um, I have an idea on how I want this to be, and I know it's going to be very strange. And I know a lot of you guys are going to hate this. Um, but what I want to do is I want to go to edges and I want to split this. Okay. I then want to grab, uh, this piece. And this piece and this piece. And presumably, actually, oh, this is a little bit annoying. But okay, we're going to grab these guys and we're going to bring them forwards. Meaning we're going to have to take everything else backwards, but that's okay. So that's good. We're then going to extend this guy out this way. And then we're going to... We're going to squidge it in, all right? Squidge in. There we go. Good. Okay. So, this is going to be weird. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting looking vehicle in the end. But hopefully that's okay. So, send it that way for now. And then this way. Like so. Okay, good. And then I think we can get away with just grabbing this one. Bringing it forwards again. And having it be quite high. There. Okay, like, like that. I think that's okay. So, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now. Um, don't. <laughs> You'll never guess. You will never guess. Okay, so extend this guy up to there. That fits. Uh, and actually extend this guy as well because that fits too. Okay. So far, so good. Yikes. Okay. This is where things get very interesting and kind of weird at the same time. So on this side, we're going to go and extend this guy up and we're going to squidge it together at the top. Okay, just like... Kind of just like that. There we go. We're going to go to the rear of that, and we're going to bring this forwards. Both of these guys, just like so. And that's going to have a gun on it all by itself. It is. That's just going to have a gun right there, all by itself. Very strange. Actually, can we, like, round that off a little bit? I want it to look nicer, if I can. So grab both of these, extend it, squidge it. We're going to do a bunch of squidging. There we go. A little bit more, squidge it a bit more. There we go, okay. So that's good. And then I think what we'll do is we'll actually grab all the points on the top and send those backwards. So we can have it a little bit angled. That's good. Oh, what have I done there? Hang on. Don't do that one. There we go. Send those backwards like so. This one and this one backwards a little bit more than the rest. And that'll be okay. I don't know what I'm doing here, um, but it's fine. So let's go ahead and attach that onto there. 
quite small. And right in the middle, hopefully. Is that in the middle? Not really. Now it kind of is. Okay, good. So that is going to be a 75mm gun, but it's going to be quite long. Okay, so we're going to have a 2 meter barrel on it. Bosh. There we go. Kind of strange, but it works. Uh, and that reload time is going to be annoyingly long. Mm -mm -mm. There. Okay. So far, so good. That's very strange. I like it, though. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to compartments. We're going to go to faces. We're going to go ahead and extend these guys upwards. No. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I want this to be. Essentially, I want a turret to go here, but obviously the turret won't be able to aim to the right, but maybe that's all right. I, I like the idea of making it really random and weird. So that is actually what we're going to do. Grab a freeform turret, smack it in right there, make the diameter of it really small. And yeah, we're going to have to make it really small too, turns out. There we go. Bring it in. Yeah. Oh, we're doing it, guys. We're doing it. All right. In. Fantastic. Knock this down by quite far. And the turret is going to go there by its side. It's strange. This is going to be really, really weird. All right. There we go. So we've extended that forwards. We're going to go ahead and extend this backwards. Like so. We're then going to grab each one of these and extend them. And squidge them as we go. Okay. And it's going to be very round. Just to let everybody know. It's going to be round. We are extending as we go to. There we go. And then squidge it in. Like so. And there we go. We got a round turret off to the side. This is a weird one. This is a very, very strange one. But there you go. A rounded turret off to the, off to the edge. We're going to bring that forwards. And we're going to leave it at the front like that. Okay. Weird. Very weird. Okay, we're going to go and extend this guy upwards like so, and we're going to squidge it in, and also squidge it in that way too, uh, and squidge it downwards, I guess? I kind of want it to be like, kind of not rounded, if that makes sense. But there you go, that's going to go there. So if we go to firepower, let's go to mantlet, grab this one, and we'll whack that on there, like so. Okay, so this one can turn, but only shoot off to the left. That one at the other side can only shoot forwards and slightly right and slightly left. And up and down, obviously. Um, and that's going to be really weird. Okay. I wanted it to be strange. So, this is good. This is good. Okay, right. This gun is going to be a smaller caliber. We're going to go with a 57 millimeter round. And uh, we're going to have it fire quicker. So, we're going to go with 350. There we go. Bam. 350. Get another one of these. Extend it less downwards there we go and that's going to be our gun right there okay we got two guns uh different calibers but that's okay and uh we should be good maybe should be good maybe good all right so now what we need to do is a gun sight for this one we're gonna go ahead and smack that right on the top of the turret a gun sight for this one and slap that right there and there we go how weird very, <laughs> very weird. Okay, so um, we now need to actually add a bunch of detail to this. We need to add engine stuff, so I'm going to do that real quick. Engine, vents, this guy. We're going to go ahead and make it real small. Turn it around and put it in there. Okay, we're then going to grab another one of these. Turn it around. Put it there. We're then going to grab both of these. Make it bigger. And bigger this way just okay and then move it backwards yes to be directly in the middle of there that actually looks pretty good that looks all right okay exhausts i love these ones i really do so we're gonna actually use two of these we're gonna put them on there and we're gonna extend them i actually love these these guys extended i think they look really cool anyway bring it backwards we're gonna push it down and in and we're gonna leave it right there that actually looks pretty awesome bring it upwards just a little tiny touch that looks sick, actually. Very cool. So our engines are done. Our fuel tanks. I wouldn't mind adding extra fuel tanks. Maybe even right here. Like two fuel tanks right there. Okay. Weird. But sure. Go for it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of decorations in other places too. But what I'm thinking is we attach this guy to the top of mm, here. We're going to have it on this gun. And that's going to be our commander's cupola right there. Okay. I am going to squidge it slightly, though, because um, I feel like I should. 
Oh, it's already squidged. It's already squidged as much as it can be. Alright, what does that even look like? Oh, weird. It looks weird. I love it. Alright, so realistically, actually, um, I think I would love to actually put rivets all the way around this thing like I do with everything that I do into war, but I'm not actually going to do it on this one. So, I need you guys to join me as I add another person, which is going to be a gunner loader. There we go, they're going to do their own job in their own turret, and that should be okay. So, let's give them a little bit of basket space so that they can actually fit in there. And we're honestly going to be tight for room here with the actual ammunition. So, um, we're going to go ahead and add some ammunition to the main gun. And that's going to go right there. I believe that's the, the ammo for the main gun. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and add some more ammunition. But it's going to be for the side gun. And uh, we're only going to have like a few rounds in there. Okay, so that's up to maximum already. Okay, kind of crazy. Um... But this is too much. That is too much. So what we're going to do is go to compartments. We're going to go ahead and go to the bottom. Hopefully this doesn't mess everything up. It might. Extend that down. Squidge it together. And that's going to be it. There we go. Okay, so now we have enough room for everything. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Good. I don't want to put any armor on it. Not really. A commander's cupola? Where's that gone? They always disappear when I do certain things. Alright, hang on. Commander's Cupola, it's going to be one of these guys. Make it really small. Put it in the center of this, if possible. And there we go. Okay, we got everything we need. Oh god, they both fire at the same time. Okay, I want a bit of a traverse on this gun, if I can. So, if we go to mount, grab this one. Uh, yeah, okay, 250, good. It can go to the... Oh god, no. It could go to the left, but it can't go, like... It can go to the left this way, but it can't go to the right. Which means we don't really have anything that can shoot off to the right. I mean, this gun can turn, but we don't want it to turn through there. Oh, yikes. Okay. So we want it to have a lock on it, don't we? We do. So go to compartments. Uh, armor thick sure. Uh, so we want, like, a restriction on it. So constraints. Uh, I don't want it to be able to shoot off to the right. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to leave it as is. We're going to leave it as is. Uh, there's going to be no extra armor on this thing. Um, the only other thing that I want to change is I'm going to select this gun, and this is going to be our secondary gun. Okay, and this is going to be our primary. Okay. I think that's all we need. I genuinely think that's all we need. Let's go ahead and put livery on it, because we can. Mm-mm-mm-mm. There we go. And I think we should honestly go with a desert one because reasons. There you go. That makes it look, look into war-y. All right, cool. And it's going to be French. Because of course it is. One French into war-y tank, please. There we go. Okay. Fan dabby dozy. We're going to leave it like that. Let's go. It looks cool, actually. I quite like it. Oh, they're already shooting. Oh, they've killed one already! Oh, Junes are horrible, aren't they? Up and down and up and down. Alright, we killed one. Nice, let's continue. Let's continue! Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. We, we are getting, like, stuck in the sand a little bit, but we're okay. Alright, we're gonna continue in. I didn't change the engine or anything, either. Just to let everybody know. I, I probably should have. Or even the gears. But never mind. We're going in. It's working. This is cool. This is very cool. Alright, so, so far we've lost one tank. There are enemy ta- Oh, no. Is that an enemy? Oh, my God. Save his life. Oh, no. He's shooting him in the bum. Guys, he's shooting him in the bum. Save him. Wait, is he dead? I don't think I'm killing that guy. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. He did end up killing our friend, but that's okay. There is only one enemy remaining. Literally only one enemy remaining. We've done a good job here. We're doing alright. Okay, let's get ourselves up this hill. I should really change the gear ratios. I really should. Is that enemy alive? Yep. Oh, he killed me. That enemy killed me. Guys, why are we all chilling out back here? What's going on? 
What's going on, my guys? Let's get up there and see what we can do. All right, that guy's the one that's alive. He might kill everyone. Nope, he won't. We killed him. Nice. That was sick. That was actually so cool. This tank has done done its job as uh, as it was supposed to. So I'm actually really happy with it. Uh, I like the design. It is very weird and random, but um, it works. It actually works. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.